Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests with us today. The flyest mother daughter duo in the game. Toya and Regine. Welcome, ladies. Hey, hey. Hi, hi. How y'all feeling? Good. Good. Don't give us the generic answer. How y'all feel for real this morning? For real, we really feeling good. Tired. I'm tired. Real tired, but you know, I feel good overall. Run, running around doing press for the TV show. Yes, we're doing press. Fashion for the Week TV. VMAs. Yeah. Did y'all go VMAs? No. No. Mm-hmm. I was supposed out. to go. My dad performed, but. A couple times. Yeah, I know. I yeah. didn't know it was like. You gonna let Taylor Swift be out there quoting <laughs> lyrics better than you? <laughs> that you made? Really? Really? I told Dang, I, I know. I should have went. I told you, girl. I was lazy. Now, why a reality show now at this point? Uh, you know, we've been doing reality TV for a while. Mm-hmm. We're at a different phase in our lives. Mm-hmm. So, you know, a lot of growth, a lot of changes. So we decided to bring the nosy people back into our world. That's what I said. I wouldn't I would think y'all wouldn't <laughs> want to be bothered at this point. Uh yeah, I mean, we was just, you know, happy to do something the two of us mm-hmm. together for mm-hmm. the first time. Now is it following relationship? Is it businesses? Is it both? Is it a every- mixture of all of that. All of it. Yeah. Relationship, it. family, business. <laughs> Do you want to all of that family and the relationship stuff and all that again? Uh, well. It's <laughs> Why are you smiling, Resident? <laughs> Somebody didn't want to do it. The fun side of it. Which one of y'all didn't want to do it? Somebody didn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody didn't want to do it. I mean, it's life. Oh, it's- you go through things. Nothing is, is perfect. Like, you know. And whether you do a reality show or not, if you're going through something, you're going to be on the blogs and y'all yeah. going to be talking about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like people tell our so, story anyway. Yeah, so you might as well so narrate well your own there. stuff. But you do know it. Like, if it's a little argument in the crib, it's a little argument in the crib, it's over. But now when it's a little argument and it's outside the crib, that argument is always a lot bigger. Yeah, but you don't have to... Everything don't have to be shown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm every, saying? Like, no, you ain't yeah. going to put every situation out there. Mm-hmm. You gotta keep certain filters things certain things. Mm-hmm. That's just what it is. What, what what did y'all learn from doing reality TV previously that y'all applied to this? Well, you know, the thing about it is, I've we've always been transparent and like real and mm-hmm. authentic to who we are. Mm-hmm. We never claim to be perfect. We go through things, ups and downs, and we okay with we okay with like shit living our lives out loud. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what we learned before is it's like I don't like to focus too much heavy on my relationship for real because you know I've I've done that on TV before mm-hmm. and you, yeah it is sometimes it is a uh it does have that negative thing to it because you're allowing so many opinions to come into your situation but um shit it 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 is what it is Well you're a newlywed now I am How, how did you know he was the one Cause he is such a genuine person. He's real. He's You're very family right now. oriented. Yeah, mm-hmm. He's like, you know, I feel like that's my person. That's like, you know, my best friend. Mm-hmm. So that, uh, you know, yeah. He's a Sagittarius. Oh my like goodness! Me. Did you like him from the door, Regine? <laughs> no, you? from the door. Like, you got a Sag. What? Okay. Yes, all taking like, the sign? No. Oh, she is so, <laughs> listen, this girl is so hooked on the sign no. thing. I'm like, girl, what? But another thing with Red is that he's always accepted me like I was his daughter. Like, mm-hmm. always loved me like one. Always just, like, respected me and my mom. Showed me that he respected my mom so much. So he was good in my eyes from day one. How, how you how you always been like that when, when your mom dated somebody? Like, all right, let me give it all. Or have you always been the, nah, I ain't fuck with him right away? My mom ain't well, dating nobody like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my mama never. Like, <laughs> let's start there. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know what the fuck you I talking about. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Listen. Men, like, oh, mama, I, you she know ain't the date like that. Date. Like, you know, she's, she always, like, she's a wife, right. you know? Period. So, like, my mama, the people that I have met, it's, um, but it's not, no, I ain't never been on no, my mom's the type, she's a grown woman. She's my mother first, mm-hmm. and that's just what it is. Like, Let, I respect my mom as my mom. That's what about her boyfriends? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you, um, Regina <laughs> had two boyfriends that I, mm-hmm. well, when she was younger, three boyfriends, but it was okay. It cool. Like, I like her 
No, but for real, for real. Like, you know, growing up and like in the beginning, it's tough because I re- I dated a rapper. So, of course, I didn't want my daughter to follow those footsteps and date a rapper. But you mm-hmm. can't help who you love. So did you that tell her that right it. away? Did you? T- yes, I always. And she pre- didn't right? Didn't I preach that when she and she told me this? My friend, I was like, don't do it. But then you gotta let him live and just learn. A rapper though. But he was I mean, a rapper. I mean, even back then he was, you know, he was still on the come up, but he still was a different, a different level of. He was special. a rapper. Yeah. And I was trying to warn her. You, but... you, you did good, Tony. He's an icon. Yeah. He's, a <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> He's one of the greatest yeah. of all time. I'm just saying. Yeah. He's still a rapper. Now. Exactly. They move like a rapper. <laughs> so I was trying to give a game, like, you know, but the she best experience. Oh, no. Did not want to hear me. She was like, no, nah, that's my friend. I Trust me, I got this. That's my friend. And then, boom, I was like, hmm. <laughs> this is interesting. So okay. is there a tear of people that you kind of, like, want to stay away from? Like, the rapper, the athlete? Like, what is it? Yeah, the rappers and shit is at the top of the list. Damn. For, for, Jesus. For me. For her. You know, cause we're already, she know she knows that life oh so well. So it's like, yeah, why you want to put yourself in it? Did you say I told you so? I did not. <laughs> did I say I told you so? No, you didn't say I, I told I you so. I just let her. I just let her. You know, yeah. But she's getting. My life. She's better with it mm-hmm. now. Like she knows what she wants, and she's she's mm-hmm. doing good on it at level. I love the dynamic. You know, I like I like watching even my wife with my daughters. But are y'all? F- or did you raise her like a friend or a daughter? I'm gonna let her answer that. No, um, my mother <laughs> growing up, she always said, you know, I'm your mother, not your friend. Now that I am about to be 25 years old, I can call her. Look, I'm I still hesitate. I could call her my friend sometimes, but mm-hmm. she's not. No, she's always been mm-hmm. my mother. Like, and I'm thankful for it because I look at her as my mother. Like, I don't. I don't, when if even if I slip up and cuss, I'd be like, "Ooh, sorry." Like mm-hmm. it's like, my mom, I got a, a different respect for her because she's always put that on me. Yo, it's so crazy because we've seen her grow up. So yes. the fact that she said she's twenty five, I'm like, Ooh, Jesus Christ!" That make me feel like I'm getting old. I know. Well, we're getting, like, we're getting uh, seasoned. Is yeah, we're like seasoned. Yeah, seasoned. that's what you call it. Seasoned. seasoned. Yeah. Did, did working <laughs> on this show bring y'all closer to, together? Uh, it, we've always had a really close relationship. I'm, I'm going to be honest. We went through our rough patch, you mm-hmm. know, every mother and daughter do mm-hmm. when they're growing up and start smelling themselves and think they like super grown. Mm-hmm. We went through that patch, but as she got older, our relationship got stronger and stronger. But with the show, yes, you know, because we we're seeing each other a whole mm-hmm. lot more. Regina just moved. She live in LA now. So that's time that we get to spend together and, mm-hmm. you know be around each other more. So. When they go through the rough patch, what do you do? You just let them be on their own? Like, you got, you know what? You be want to box them up. <laughs> That's what you be wanting. Box them out. Yes. <laughs> box them up. But it's like, they just think they know everything. That rough patch is a very mm-hmm. tough time for mothers and mm-hmm. daughters. How'd y'all know? fix it? I think time fixed it and then like life experiences, you know, she started to realize things that I was trying to tell her. But mm-hmm. I'm one of the mothers like, I'm, I really be trying to avoid her. Like, I can see it before it happened. But I have to understand that you was once her age. Mm-hmm. And it took you going through these things to learn. Mm-hmm. You know, it was the life lessons is what taught you and made you the woman you are today. So you got to allow her that same type of, you know, growth. Mm-hmm. Like, for her to learn and go through things. But it's just tough just watching them just run into them. And you're trying to stop them. It's like, mm-hmm. girl, listen to me. But, you know, now we're... You know, that's my buddy. I, we talk about everything, mm-hmm. and them rough patches is over. Every that's now right. and then we might have a little disagreement or spat, but that's that don't happen often. Mm-hmm. What made you realize mama was right, Regina? Okay, well, um, she's my mom. I feel like come, at this point, even when they're, even when your parent is not right, you got to let them be right. Like, it's like, so you she can't, ain't, like, you she can't. Ain't necessarily <laughs> right, but you're just like, you know what, I ain't arguing no more. <laughs> No, she's right. Like, usually on life things, say, for instance, like friends, things like this, everything that she call out, she's usually right on everything. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I feel like our generation is different. Things are changing. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff is different from when she was younger, when she was coming up. So I feel like it's certain things where she's like, oh, you know, Nay move like this. And I'm like, ma, it's a different time now. Mm -hmm. Like, so that's the things where it's like, I'd be like, ma, I get where you coming from, but we moving like this now mm-hmm. or this so mm-hmm. 
that's what it go. It goes hand in hand. But she yeah. always keeps me humble and mm-hmm. keeps me like. I be you like, know, girl, you don't want to move like your generation. Move. Yeah, I don't Word. move, and that's why I don't move like my right. generation. That's why I'm glad. I'm glad that I have my mom because she's always tapping me on my shoulder, like, "Oh no, you're not doing that. You're doing this." We like now that I'm grown, I'm like I always have her in the back of my head, even if it's something that I know my mom wouldn't like, and I know it's not good for me. I'm like, my mama won't. Like, I ain't wasn't even raised like mm-hmm. that. Do you look at her like she grown, Toya? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, okay. I treat her like she's grown. She, she no. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be her baby forever. I do look at her like she's grown, but it's like, oh, it's hard. <laughs> like this generation with social media, mm. like the mm-hmm. different things that's going on. It's like, I'm like, I don't want my daughters to be like that. Mm-hmm. You know, well, I want them to have a, some class about them. Mm-hmm. I want them to respect themselves. Mm-hmm. I want them to always remember you are the queen and mm-hmm. you deserve somebody that's going to treat you like the queen. Like, don't be out here telling all your business to the internet. Mm-hmm. You have a village. Like, I'll be right. trying to, like, stop them, but it's so hard because this is what everybody in their generation is right. doing. So I'm like, okay, when you put on clothes, leave something to the imagination. Mm-hmm. We all like to be sexy. We go through mm-hmm. our phases, but, like, don't be completely exposing every part of your body, like all kind of stuff. You trying to get on? And then she pull up a picture of you when you was eighteen. So, resident, how does it feel like you know your dad? It seems like people are giving your dad his flowers now. For years, you've been talking about nobody was giving him the flowers, but it seems like in the last couple of years, people have been pouring into him, giving him his flowers. And how does that feel? You know what? I'm about to read a text that I just texted him yesterday because honestly, this is how I feel. I said, I said, you deserve all of these moments you're getting and more and they're coming. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for him. I feel like my dad is like, not that like, he's not that vocal. He's very like to himself. Like, you know, if you know him, you know him. So it's like, he don't really, he not the type that's going to ask for it or going to say like he, want it or he need it or he whatever but I feel like in his soul all of this love that he's getting I feel like as a man it's, it's something that he needed like mm-hmm. every man just need a different love a different type of like honor because I feel like it's so much that he does he takes care of so many people he gets so many things together so I feel like for him to get his flowers at this time is just a blessing I think it's because we're in an era where we've seen so many uh, great die mm-hmm. and we didn't celebrate them when mm-hmm. they was here yes. so it's like while we have these icons still here these living mm-hmm. legends still here yo salute them celebrate yeah. them mm-hmm. you know especially people that have sure. been around for as long as mm-hmm. these like women around 25 years look like this 96 literally yeah. since like 96 because i'm from south carolina so we was getting that old cash money the bg baby gangster tapes oh, and all yeah. of that way 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 back <laughs> but i love that and i love the sack i love to see him doing so much more like mm-hmm. doing these award shows like hearing him mm-hmm. backstage at these concerts and coming out doing sp- surprise performances mm-hmm. i love to see that i think people miss that and, yes. and the fact that whatever it is that's, that's making him do it i love it because i love to see him more and more and more which is which is great Me is he too. gonna be on the reality show <laughs> or he be like keep them cameras away <laughs> Well, you know, the reality show is with me and my mom and our mm-hmm. life and what mm-hmm. we got going on. So, you know, it's our lane. But, you know, at the end of the day, my dad is always supportive with anything that I do. So, you know, I just got to stay tuned. Might pop up. You never know. And why L.A.? Everybody keep asking me that. Some people's like, oh, my gosh, like good move. Yeah, I, like like, I mean, I like L.A., but at night, I, I, you know, when you're from the South, I feel like, yeah. go get you five acres down South and live down yeah. South for what you're going to pay in L.A. I feel like with, I just been in Atlanta for so long and I wanted a different scene. Like I wanted to change sceneries and I wanted to also go to a point where it's like, I'm uncomfortable for a minute. Like I feel like Atlanta, like you said, you could buy acres and you could do this Mm -hmm. and you could do that. Like I wanted to get to a place where it's like, I want to be uncomfortable to get back comfortable again. I told mm-hmm. my mom I'm about to go to L.A., about to get me yeah. a place. I t- sent her to play. She's like, oh, okay, you got all of this together. I'm like, I'm going to get it together because I'm, I'm going to pray to God and got my manager together with it. So I'm excited about it, and I feel like with acting, due to the strike and stuff, hopefully when the strike open back up, it's going to be perfect for me because I'm going to be out there and stuff. But um, 
I think it's just perfect. I love it. You Every a, time I wake up, I'm like, yeah, this is what I'm supposed to be. You had a little incident <laughs> out there a couple of months ago. Did that change your mind about it? Yeah, that's way? another thing. My house almost got broken into. So that kind of like... That's what scares me about L.A. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, this. Oh, no, this Atlanta was in Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, Atlanta. so this was in Atlanta. Both so, of those places. Atlanta and L.A. Yeah. Is brutal for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very. Yeah. yeah. So it's like... It's that's. It's like everything happens for a reason. Now I feel like since that happened, I am very careful on how I post, when I post, what I post. So it's like I needed that to happen kind of for me to like stop showing so much. I was going to ask, you know, your dad wrote one of your verses for the BET Awards Mm -hmm. when you were rapping. You ever thought about doing it? Uh, No, actually. Stop my daddy. (laughs) I'm not good at rapping. Like, honestly, even when me and my friends are in the room, like, I just could never get the bars. He took it all. Like, I got a lot of talents, like acting, this, that, this, you know, but the rapping stuff, I just could never get a bar. <laughs> how does we approach y'all, too? That's what I was thinking, like, because y'all got money. So what is we, what is we, how do they approach y'all to entice y'all to even want to do this? Well, a friend of ours who works um, really close to the network, he actually, um, help work on a lot of the shows. He, I did a movie um, with them, a Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. And he was like, I want to do a show with you and Regine. And it was around the time I was getting married. I was like, I think they were talking like a wedding thing. I was like, uh, no, I'm not interested in that. Mm-hmm. And so he came back and he talked to me about doing a show with me and Nate. And I talked to her about it. And, you know, we gave it a shot. Mm. Yeah, so it was like a friend of ours who worked like on a lot of shows over there. So the dollars were right. <laughs> and, and the connection and the dollars were right. <laughs> that part. Yeah. Do, do y'all know how many seasons y'all gonna do? Or are y'all just gonna we, take it one season at a time? We're gonna take it one season at a time. And how many episodes? This first one, mm-hmm. we just did six episodes for the first one. And for you, yeah. Regine, like, you know, if you are dating, do you put these guys on TV? Because you don't want to make people hot for Can't no reason. Can't make them famous. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. <laughs> you have a tendency to that do that. She did. That means she did. You see that face? Oh, that Lord. means she did. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh my God. So, I mean, like my mom said earlier, we we definitely show our lives and mm-hmm. show, you know, everything that is a part of it. And yeah, you know, I definitely have put my last relationship on a TV. Yeah. Damn. You regret it? N- no, I don't live life with well, no it was regrets. on YouTube. Yeah, mm-hmm. we were on they YouTube. Had- so, I don't live life with no regrets. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like, hey, I know I'm gonna have I'm gonna be blessed no matter what. I know everything that I do, <laughs> my intentions are pure. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. I guess you might as well get a check for it. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying. I can't, I can't. I'm just saying. You I might as well. <laughs> 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 oh boy! So when did it start? Thursdays nine o'clock. Thursdays nine p.m. Yeah, on we're TV. actually uh, three episodes in. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's a it's a I'm family been good show. feedback like, too. It's, it's been really uh-huh. good feedback. Do y'all stay? Do y'all go on social to see what people are saying, and y'all don't want to mess with y'all mentors by doing that? Oh yeah, we oh, live we tweet do. on Thursdays yeah. okay. um, when the show come on, and surprisingly, it has not been negative stuff like that. No. It's, I mean, it's very you hard know? to hate on y'all. I mean, it, without oh, it, without it looking like really? actual hate. Yeah, all right. you know yeah. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. What are my DMs? <laughs> These yeah. trolls tro- tro- is gone. Just be like, okay. like, they'll find it's something. Not that yeah. hard. But yeah. it happened. Like surprise. I'm like really surprised because it really is a family show. It's very relatable. It's mm. real. My mom is on there. She's a character. She's funny. My brother, my sister, who mm. has a kind of open relationship situation. It's just different dyna- family dynamics, and it's a little drama on there, of course. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people was Regine with her relation, her past relationship. Mm-hmm. And, you know, me and my friends, it's just like a real relatable, real show. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if I'm going to do reality TV, I want I want it to be authentic to who I am for real mm-hmm. and what I deal with on a day to day. Because I get lots of people telling me, you know, how me sharing my family life has helped them to repair relationships and different things. And I feel like if I'm able to help somebody in that way. Like, why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have a skincare so, routine, Toy? I feel like you need skin- to come out with skincare products or something. Oh, I really need to work on it. Mm-hmm. I really do. Do you have a skincare routine? Because <laughs> you ain't aging at all. 
Um, um, that's a blessing. <laughs> that's really a blessing. I guess that's what minding your business, drinking your water, and staying there out the go. way will get okay. you. There you, you go. know, I ain't trying to mind nobody's business but mine. There you go. And I'm staying in my own lane. There you go. Well, Toya and Regine, we appreciate you for joining us. You can check them on WeTV every Thursday at 9 p.m. And hasn't Charlemagne changed? You remember the Ooh, first time yes. you came up here? I want. I was like, what you, what, what you about to say? Wow. I, lo- I love y'all. I never said nothing bad about Toya. No, you and were trying. No, always think, been good. In I the, think the first right. time I came, we, it was like some little shady stuff going on on the internet. So you, that was like the first question. No, you I asked used to. Me. I think, but I always. But used you to, always was cool though. Yes, I always used to say. I wanted a midget that looked like Oh, Tony. my you God. You did say that. You did say that. That was the first thing you said yeah, when I walked in the door. I, was like, I said, what? You not fly that with me? A midget that looked like Bro, Tony. Not we like almost it. made it out. I'm sorry. I, I said involved, like you changed. I was trying to leave on the bottom. I was talking about something old, though, but I, right. that would be dope. A midget that looked like Why Tony. Why would you not be a midget? I don't know. I just th- I just th- thought that would be right. so pretty and cute. Like a little midget look just like Toya. Not, <laughs> not a little teddy bear. A little pretty not and cute. Little like, teddy what's wrong bear. with you? Oh, I cool. cannot. Ladies and gentlemen, Toya, resonate. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.